Have you ever looked at your ultrasound scan report and felt it was written in another language? You are not alone. Those abbreviations and medical terms can be overwhelming, but they don't have to be. Today I'm breaking down a third trimester ultrasound scan report so they can understand exactly what is going on with you and your baby. Let's get started. Just last month, a first-time mom came to me with her ultrasound scan report. She said, Doctor, I don't understand any of this. As I explained how it tells the story of her baby's growth, her face lit up. She said, I had no idea it was so detailed. That's when I realized it is not just about knowing what is on the report. It is about understanding why it matters for you and your baby. If we look at this ultrasound scan, at the upper part of the report, you can see the patient's identification. Apart from that, there is a last menstrual period. This is the first day of your last period. It helps calculate how far alone you are in your pregnancy. For this report, the last menstrual period for this patient is 27th May 2024. It also shows a single eating fetus, a longitudinal lie, cephalic presentation. The single eating means there is a one baby within the uterus and the baby is alive. The next thing is the lie of the fetus. In this ultrasound scan, you can see that the lie of the fetus is longitudinal, meaning that the lone axis of the baby is in line with the lone axis of the maternal spine, which is normal. In some cases, the baby may lie transversely perpendicular to maternal spine, and that's called transverse lie. The next thing is the presentation. In this ultrasound scan report, you can see the presentation is cephalic meaning the head of the baby is down, which is normal. In some cases, the buttocks will come first and then occupy the lower uterine segment, called bridge presentation, which is not a normal presentation. Another thing that we can see on the ultrasound scan is placental position, which shows where the placenta is attached. In this report, it is anterior, meaning the placenta is attached to the front wall of the uterus, which is totally normal. Other normal site of the placental attachment is the posterior, when the placenta attached behind the back wall of the uterus. In some cases, the placenta can attach to the upper pole of the uterus, which is called the pundal attachment. Low-lying placenta is when it occupies the lower uterine segment, but that's not normal. Other measurements that you can see in the ultrasounds can include gestational age. This is your baby's age in mix. It is calculated using measurements like the baby's head size, the baby's femoral length, biparietal diameter, etc., depending on the gestational age. The biparietal diameter, which is the BPD, measures the baby's head size from one end to the other. It's used to check the duration of pregnancy, especially in the early second trimester. Another parameter that can be used to measure the duration of pregnancy is the femoral length. This is the length of your baby's thigh, and then it's donated by this FL. It's another way of checking your baby's growth. The AC means abdominal circumference. This measures your baby's tummy. It helps make sure that your baby is getting enough nutrients and growing healthy. FHR means fetal heart rate. This is your baby's heartbeat. The normal range is between 120 to 160 beats per minute. Here, it is 152 beats per minute, which is normal. AFI means amniotic fluid index. This measures the fluid around your baby. The normal range is between 5 to 25 centimeters. And here, it is 12 centimeters. That means it's normal. The EFW stands for estimated fetal weight. This is your baby's estimated weight. In this report, the baby's weight is 2.6 kilograms. Sometimes the report may also show your baby's gender, which in this report is this XX, meaning the baby is a girl. Or in some cases, it can be XY, meaning the baby is a boy. This is not always included in some ultrasound scan. I know these numbers can feel overwhelming, but they are just tools to help you and your doctor to make sure your baby is growing healthy and strong. Thank you so much for your time. Bye.